Now we are going to automate this deployment process with this GitHub Actions. So when we do any changes and when we push our changes to this repository, GitHub will be automatically triggering a couple of actions. And in the end, we expect our application to be tested. And then if the all tests are passing, it's going to be deployed to our server. So for that, we are going to use this actions part. But before that, we will store a couple of secrets for our deployment. For instance, our server IP address, our username, and the, the most importantly, our SSH key. In these actions, we will tell this GitHub actions to be handling the SSH connection and running a couple of commands on the actual server. Now let's go to this settings page. And in this settings, we have this secrets part. Now we will add our secrets. Now let's add our first secret. Let's call it Google Cloud VM IP. And the value is this one. And let's add a new secret. And this is for Google Cloud VM username. And that is this one for me and we will add another one for the SSH key uh, but before that uh, we need to do uh, one more thing now we are going to add our private key as a secret but the private key generated by this put again is not in correct format to use in uh, github we have to export that file as open SSH format. So first let's load the key, this private key. And from this conversion stop, let's export it as open SSH key. So saving it here, open SSH key. Now we can just copy it, copy the content of it and use it in GitHub secrets. So this is the content of the open SSH key, copying this one and going to GitHub and adding a new secret, which is Google Cloud VM SSH and pasting the SSH key here and adding secret. Now we have added three variables to this secrets part and we will use it in our actions. Now let's create our actions. Now we will create an action and we will use this template from this Node.js actions. So clicking this one and this is going to be creating a file here in our project, there will be a GitHub folder and there will be workflows. And in this one, this there will be this Node.js YAML file. Here, let's go over the template first. This action will be triggered on when something is pushed to the branch main or a pull request for this main. Whenever any of these triggers are detected, these actions will be running the steps here. First, it's going to be uh, preparing an environment uh, based on this Ubuntu latest. And then it is having this uh, versions, node versions. And let's change this one. Let's set it to run it with the uh, in node version 12. And we have the action for this npm ci will be running the npm install part and then then it is going to run build if present but we don't have this one it has no effect in our current process so then it's going to run the test but we don't want running the npm test this is for our local uh, test environment which is running in watch mode but we have a staging test and we want that test to be running so we will 
tell npm run test staging then after the test passed we want uh, these actions to be taking the rest of the actions which is connecting to our server pulling the latest changes from this repository and uh, updating the application and restarting the application with the new latest changes so for doing those actions we will use another um, actions from here we will search the uh, apple boy ssh this one ssh remote commands and here we have the let's copy this part first so we will have this part um, it's going to be using this uh, apple boy ssh action with now we will pass the parameters of our host uh, address username and ssh key so let's uh, add them first um, let's start with the key and the key is we are going to get the key from secrets and uh, since this file in the end is going to be part of our repository and anyone can access this uh, repository and checks out this file so that's why we don't want to uh, to every data to be visible in it so that's why we edit our sensitive data into secrets under settings tab and now we are going to use those variables here and to access them we will add dollar sign and double curly braces opening and closing and in it we will uh, point to our secrets secrets and our ssh key was at this google cloud vm ssh uh, to not to have any typo let's open the settings in another tab and let's go to secrets and here this one google cloud vm ssh and the next one is host and the host is the actually the ip address of our server again uh, in curly braces secrets google cloud vm ip and the last one is username again copying it from this one secrets now we provided the connection related data to this uh, script uh, then after this um, connection is established we will ask this uh, script to be running a couple of commands so for that one we will uh, use script key um, we will have multiple uh, commands to be executed there so uh, to add them here we will use pipe and going to next line and first of all uh, we will run pm2 delete all uh, with this way we will be stopping uh, the application if it's running then we will go to our application directory which is here is uh, the var app and tdd dash node js and then in this folder we will pull the latest changes from this git repository so we will call git pull and then we will run npm install uh, we do this because in uh, the repository we may be adding some new features which is relying on to new dependencies so that's why uh, when we um, load the latest changes to our server we should be running this npm install to make sure we are uh, getting the exact latest dependencies in our project and the last uh, command is pm2 start npm dash dash start so with this way we would be uh, automating all the steps 
uh, through this GitHub uh, actions. So I'm going to uh, commit this one and um, throughout the course I'm committing each section and this section has its own uh, index like this. Uh, so typing like this, automating deployment, committing this one. And if you go to actions, here we see our latest commit is triggering this build process. And here we can see the steps and each steps are visible here. As you can see, it is installing the dependencies and now running the tests. We have the migration and running each test. And tests are passing. Now connecting to our server, running these commands. And here we see the uh, PM2 is running. And all actions are completed successfully. So if we go to our uh, application again from the uh, browser, let's refresh this one. And here we see it is running. So with this way, we automated the whole operation. And let's say if the one of the step was failing, like, like the test phase was failing, uh, we wouldn't be uh, going to the next actions and uh, our application wouldn't be deployed to our server. So uh, that is how we uh, automate the deployment for this uh, scenario. We have seen how the GitHub Actions are handling this deployment. Now let's trigger this deployment from our workstation. So currently in my folder, source folder, I'm going to uh, update the version of this project. But first, uh, since we just uh, edit new file to repository through the GitHub Actions, first let's pull that changes to local. So running git pull. And here we get the, uh, this Node.js YAML file to a local uh, folder. Now we are going to change the version of our application. And the version was here in this package JSON, this part. Now we are going to change this one and we will do it by running npm version and we will define the which type of version change we want. The options are, we can say patch, minor, or major. Each of these is changing one of the value we have here. So when we run npm version patch, it is updating this part it is increasing this part like it would be going 101. And if we continue to run npm version patch, it will be changing this one uh, incrementally. So it's the next, it's going to be 102, 103, 104, like that. And when we run the npm version minor, it's going to update this line. So it's going to be 1.1.0, 1.2.0 it's going to be increasing like that. And if we run the major version change by running npm version major, it's going to be changing this part, the left-hand part of this version. So it's going to be either like 2.0, 3.0 and so on. So uh, if you are having changes in your code to fix some issues, then uh, you should be increasing your patch version. But if you have some uh, changes in your application, like adding new features, uh, which is not breaking existing functionality, then you should be doing minor upgrade. But if there are some 
the breaking changes in your application, which would require migration uh, implementation changes from this version to next version, then you should be upgrading the version of the major part. But again, this is meaningful for the cases where you are uh, publishing a library. For our case, the purpose of uh, this versioning is just to uh, to make sure our application is running the version we want it to be run. We will run npm version patch to change uh, just the last part. So it's going to be like this 1.0.1. So we can run like this npm version patch. But uh, there is a, a detail in this one. If you are running this command in a git repository, by default, it is adding a commit for this change. If you don't want this to be automatically generating a commit, then you should be adding no git tag version parameter, and then you should be running this version command. So either is fine. I'm just going with the default running npm version patch. And here the version is changed to 101. And we can confirm it in package JSON. Here it is updated. Uh, by the way, this is not just updating this version, but also it is updating a package lock JSON. So that's why it's good practice to uh, change versions through the that command. Now, when we check the git log, we will have a new commit coming with this one and it is having this version commit. Now, pushing these changes to GitHub by git push. But before that, since this is going to be starting the action, which will be deploying our application to server, here on the server window, let's continuously watch the log of our application. For that, we run tail minus f app.log. So here we have the all the application is running logs here and all of them having this version 1.0. Now running this git push. So the changes are sent to GitHub and from this GitHub window, we can just check the actions and here we see our latest commit which is this one 101 and let's watch the progress now it is running the tests and the tests are passing and it is restarting our application and let's watch this part. And here we see the app is running with version 1.01. .01. So that is how we automate all the deployment process.